All right. So I just uh, <clears throat> read the Immortal to Me. I think it's called Immor Immortal to Me or Immortal to You or whatever. Uh, the poem that I wrote about Charlie and Tony Hoagland. And it occurred to me that I actually have another uh, poem that has something to do with Tony Hoagland um, in this stack right here. I, uh, if I am having trouble feeling creative, I sometimes will think about a line or, uh, or an entire poem by somebody that I really like and just kind of get vibrations from it, I guess, <laughs> uh, tone usually. Uh, more so than imagery or anything like that, anything specific. Um, this particular poem came to me when I was just reading Tony Hoagland. Uh, I think I wrote it the night that um, I was talking to Norb about Tony Hoagland. And we were just talking about a bunch of poets that we like or something like that. And... He stumbled across a bunch of poems from Tony Hoagland's new book, which I don't have yet, but I will because I love him. And I was just like, oh man, you have to share. Like you have to, I need these poems like right now in my life, right this second. And he sent them to me because Norb is awesome and sent them to Charlie too. Again, because that's awesome. And so I read all of these Hoagland poems, and he's one of those poets who is so good that it, like, makes me hurt. <laughs> um, like, I can't imagine ever writing as well as that. And I don't know how to describe it exactly. I don't know if anybody else ever feels that way, but I know if I read a poet who I really, really love, uh, and really respect and just love everything they do. Like that's like that level of, of fandom or whatever. Um, I, it's like, it's mine. Like it belongs to me on some level. And so it's like, I'm simultaneously proud of it like it's mine <laughs> uh but at the same time I feel like kind of like sick about it like I could never actually do something like that um and to some degree I'm actually afraid to try to write something super like polished and like epically perfect like like his poems are uh, and so anyway, I wrote this poem and then I, then I had to think of a, a title for it. And the first thing that came to mind was, uh, actually a line from a Tony Hoagland poem, which is very fitting. Uh, the ti the line from his poem, it's from, uh, Two Trains. And it is, what grief it is to love some people like your own. And that is a beautiful line. Of course it is. Because Tony Hoagland is about as perfect as any poet I've ever read. And uh, so it seemed perfect to me to title this poem, What Grief It Is to Love Some Poems Like Your Own. Every time I read a favorite poet and pretend it is the first time, my insides wither and ignite simultaneously. A battle between jealousy and awe, the clang and shoosh of fear-tempered swords and throwing stars forged with the heat of applause, respectively. And my face pales a sickly sage while I try to pull breath around the pride wrapped in grapefruit rind and expanding with each word as though I had something to do with it. Temporary ownership of that brilliance, borrowed and returned before it can grace my poems. <laughs>